So there's lots of ways that you can paint this painting. And I'm just gonna show you the way I feel like doing it today because that's how I pretty much decide how I'm gonna paint something, just how I feel that day. So today I wanna to block it in in big blocks of color and then go in and put some details in later. So it helps me get started. It gets the shape that I want down. It, has, it helps me to analyze whether the composition is going to be good or not. And once I've done that, then all the little details are just icing on the cake. So let's see how this works. So what intrigues me about this composition is this setup of these trees that look very much like a C pointing in toward the center of the painting. And then there is a similar shape right under where my hand is right now where the grasses kind of make another C. So it's a very interesting composition right there. This is an area of the grass that apparently is mowed right in there and it's flat, but then all the grass to the right of that is longer. So it gives a very interesting look to the painting. I'm putting in the darker grasses now, and of course I'll go lighter over this. but there's a difference between the two. You'll see that one is flatter. So if you get your darks in first, you can put your lights over that and you'll have those darker grasses peeking through underneath. None of these colors have to be completely accurate. This is where the sand is poking through, and even though sand is usually more of a yellow color, this sand is very white with reflections of blue coming from the sky. I will also lighten this up a little bit, but I'm just getting a base coat in for the block in. I put just a little yellow in the sky for some warmth, which is giving that a little bit of a greenish cast to the blue. All of these colors I will evaluate, look at them, decide whether they're effective, if they're working, if they work together, or if I need to change something. I'm coming in a little bit lighter down on the bottom where the horizon is. I'll put in a little bit lighter color in there. And that gives an airy look to the sky. And then we have to put the water in. So this is your basic block in Over here is a little patch of sand and then a little bit of lighter grasses in there. So we go in and reinforce where those trees are going to the palm trees, where the tops of the trees are. I 
Again, we have this C pattern up there and a C pattern with the sand. There's a little bit of grass or some land back there, I guess I should say. Far off in the horizon. And that is the basic block in. Now here I'm adding some of the grasses. I'm softening this up a little bit with my mop brush. Getting a little blending, taking some of the detail out, and getting ready for the next stage where I'm going to start putting in some details. I will let this dry a little bit overnight and then come back and start putting in some of the lights and the darks on these trees. But right now I just have the nice edge showing that they are in fact palm trees. The light always seems to catch two or three of the branches at the same time. That's why I like to put two or three little strikes of light or dark or brown or white or yellow. Because that's, when you look at these trees, you'll see several of them bent in the same direction and the light reflecting off of them that way. So I have a stiff little short brush here and I'm really loading it with paint and I'm just making the little wispy palm fronds in all different colors but again grouping them together. The darks are underneath where the shadows are because they're hidden from the skylight and then on top they get lighter and then they get even lighter. I'll reinforce a little bit of that land in the back there. A little bit of light coming through the trees on the bottom, even though it's very dark down there. We'll put in a few of our flowers here. Just a yellow spot where they're all gathered together in little clumps. Making sure I reinforce that C right there that mimics the C of the trees. I keep calling it a C. It's a backward C. I guess it's kind of a check mark. I don't know. A little bit of wispiness in the sky. And a little lighter down on the horizon with just a little tiny bit of yellow in there. See, at first it looks like too much, but you blend it in a little bit and it looks great. This is oil paint. That's the advantage of oils. A few more touch-ups here and there. Don't forget you need darks so that you can see the lights. Contrast is everything. OK, 
Okay, so this is the finished painting. What could I have done better? Well, I don't know. Everything can always be done better, but it could also be done worse. If I were doing this for a competition, I would have done it a lot slower. I would have done it a lot more meticulously. Every single frond on the palm tree would have a reason to be there. But since I'm just doing it for myself, I just want to get the feeling of the wind blowing through these trees, an atmospheric sky, but not necessarily clouds, the flatness of the grasses here, some people are back here. I did not do them very well. They're just sort of suggested back there. This is a suggestion of the flowers back here, but you notice I did not put every flower in. I just put a yellow area in there. As you get up close, you see these flowers are more defined and they even have their little brown centers on some of them, not all of them. Just a suggestion is all you need in impressionistic painting for people to understand. We're looking at a beach scene and we're looking at an airy sky, we're looking at a little breeze going through the trees, and obviously these grasses are a little taller than these are over here. I think it's kind of a pretty painting, and that was my objective. I remember the day I went out here with my husband and son, and now I have something that will always remind me of that moment. I can tell you exactly what I was doing when I was filming this, and turned around and my husband was asking me a question about parking. So it just brings everything right back to me. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Please try to paint something today. It doesn't matter if it comes out great. Every time you paint, you'll get a little bit better. And remember, you can paint too.